Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. This is Off Track Recipe, and I'm joined by Off Track Sub. And today we're here to talk about uh, one of the biggest animes of the seasons, one of the biggest mangas recently. Is it really? <laughs> From what I've heard, I heard about this manga really early on. Uh, I'm not gonna say how I found it. You know, you know, you you've had one of those late nights. You're on your laptop. You're looking through the new manga list and you're like, hmm, what is that title? It looks a little interesting, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, interesting. That's I... <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button. And uh, yeah, let's jump right into the content. So we're talking about Nagatora today. So what do you think, Wes? Nagatora is a really interesting, complicated show. I, the, if I had to describe it, it would be partially wholesome, Partially horny, well, very horny, <laughs> but um, also kind of frustrating. Yeah, yeah, frustrating at parts, but we'll get into that right now. The we just want to talk about, is it a kink? <laughs> oh, 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 this is, this is the discussion that we're having today. Yes, sir. This bro, tell me it's not a kink. You cannot tell me it's not a kink, bro. Uh, it is absolutely a kink. This guy is one of those dudes that likes to be stuck. <laughs> it's so weird, but it is a kink. It is a kink, isn't it? It's it's wholesome, but it's a kink. So it's like, let, let's let's start at the beginning though. What do you think about it? I don't know. I, I definitely went through phases where I was super like elitist and pretentious, like oh, I'm so above fan service shows, but it's like, I'm not, come on, I'm not. <laughs> right, right. I'm not. I When I, I actually did read it initially before it became an anime and oh, I got yeah. halfway through, I liked a lot of what I read. I think I ended at the festival arc. Dude, we're gonna be full spoilers. Watch the own discernment, but it's a, it's a fun show. Maybe not be for everyone, but it's an overall fun show. And I, I liked everything that I'd seen in the manga. There's a lot I still like when I watched the anime, but there's also a lot I started uh -oh. to dislike oh, no. when I watched it. But um, it's, uh, it's pretty, I don't want to say it's pretty fetishistic, but it's uh. No, that's the wholesale. Yes, that's that's, that's how they that's sell it. That's the wholesale. <laughs> that's gonna be the wholesale. Dude, if you're not into what's going on there, you're not into. If, it. if you can't get the jive, then it's this. Exactly. This it's gonna rub you. you the wrong way, kind of literally. It's uh. <laughs> I felt like I was stepping into the artist's fetishes. That's if we want to get deep and pretentious with it. Is can you have something like this be like legitimate without it being a king? But if it makes you uncomfortable, that's cool. If you can get past that, you got a fun story with fun characters. And you that, that's what we watch and read anime for. I, sh I feel like the whole premise of this one is the fetish, right? Like yes. The, yeah. There, it it a, might be uncomfortable. I mean, I think it's very, there's so much comedy in that. Though. There's a lot of comedy so in it. They're so funny the way they interact with each other and the way like their uh, relationship grows over the course of the manga. It's, it's also, it's funny and it's entertaining. But the horny does bear his head a couple of times. I will, I'll be honest, like... <laughs> Uh, president, the president of the art club. I don't even know what. Her I think is, my honest. my pitch for the president thing. I think that was I the arthur. <laughs> I think that was the arthur. The manga got trying to justify how like his how fan service in the sexiness of this. And obviously, I think it's okay. Art can be meaningful and sexy. Obviously, that's yeah, yeah. that's. But I think that was him saying that like it's okay if I have all of this horny shit <laughs> because my, this is art is meaningful is and love yeah. and passion. That's. That's the whole point that of her character. That character is like... It's his, his mouthpiece. Yeah, for the... It, not only his mouthpiece, but it's kind of like representative of the manga itself, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and the, but not everyone's into that, and it's okay. We're not King Shimmy. <laughs> It, it is because he is. likes it. Like I'm not gonna act like he don't like it. Like this dude be blushing and shit. Like come on, uh, come on, bro. Like some of the shit that happens later on. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, hold me, we'll calm down. It is objectively kinky, but it doesn't mean it's like too, so fetishistic that there's no story being told. I not gonna lie, I did find it relatable to like weird, awkward, if grade year old me interacting with my crush because I kind of like how Bruh. they would have a not gonna wait 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 hold up <laughs> <laughs> like he, it feels he like, likes dream like, treated that way being... okay <laughs> listen <laughs> he brought out his hentai collection so she could win an argument with her friends Okay, that's and he true. let himself get made fun of. He, even though it make irks me, he likes being treated that way. I don't think, I don't think he likes being treated that way. Or at least he likes her attention. Yes, and I would say that he likes her attention. Even though she's completely Makima controlling him. I don't think she's Makima controlling him. She's Makima. Makima. No, 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 because Makima doesn't feel anything for Denji. Doesn't even see Denji. That's true. But like, that's anytime another girl even tries to like, talk to this man. Like she goes full on cat mode, like get away from my toy. You know what I mean? I, I kind of don't like that. I, at first I kind of did, but it, it feels so, 
I don't know how to explain it because she's just a jealous middle yeah, schooler. Yeah, she's just a, a jealous teenager. kid. She's a jealous kid, and it's... like I can relate to like being in your teen, like you're a teenager. You know what? You're right. You don't know how to really express your feelings, and this is the like, only way that she can think of to get close to him without like being embarrassed, right? What if? Yes. She, what if he doesn't like? Her I guess that's the thing. Like that. So she's hiding her feelings behind like the teasing, and he can see through that because like it's it's obvious. Why would she come back every single goddamn day? I hate like, all of her friends though. Just really? not gonna lie, every single one of them. <laughs> Wow, I like I like all of them honestly. They're, really, they're kind of funny. I, I guess what they get to do later on, because later on, like they, there's no pretext. Like they all know that she likes her, likes him. Yeah. Nobody cares for what his name is. Like you don't care what his name is. He's just simple. He's Pisces. not. I had to. I had to look up his name because I didn't want to not call him. I didn't want to just call him Senpai the entire story. His name is not Tao. Okay, whatever. But it's Senpai, right? No, it's not Tao. <laughs> like put some respect on him. There's only one now Tao to me. <laughs> Listen. Wes is out here kink shaming. Kink shaming. Well, no, no, like not just them. I will say, even though I'm not like a fan of like the teasing, I think I get what you when you said that um when you said that she's afraid to be embarrassed. That made me rethink about it because I did like a teenager. Yeah, she's a teenager, and when that's I think about it like whole... that, that's fine because teenagers yeah. are afraid of being embarrassed. Uh, overall, I definitely enjoyed this, and it was fun to watch. I I think this show can like. It can rub you the wrong way. Yeah, it definitely does and did rub me the wrong way. Yeah. And it was because of that like conceit with her character I said, she doesn't take his feelings in consideration. Yeah. Like, um, for example, when he was trying his best like in the festival, she was mad that like she he didn't want her to be his model. Not that he's trying to struggle against because he doesn't think he's good enough to be the president. Yeah. And I felt like why couldn't she try to empathize? Did with he that? explain that though? He, yeah, but he has poor communication skills. And yeah, that's, and that's not, what I mean. So like, how is she really supposed to She wouldn't to be know? able to read his mind. Exactly. That's, that's fair. I mean. Which that's is like, fair. relation. it puts all these things in context. But I get what you mean. It looks like bullying. Let's be honest. Yes. Because it, it almost is bullying, honestly. Because every time she calls him gross, I kind of like, inside, I'm just like, why? Why? Yeah. Why? But then you got to remember, right? Like, she's a teenager. I'm not making excuses for her. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm not. I'm not. I'm just saying that I can understand why somebody would enjoy this show. And I can also understand why somebody wouldn't enjoy this show and wouldn't want to watch it. Mm -hmm. This is kind of like Nana Takaru, if anybody <laughs> read that. Because, <laughs> like, that, that manga, if there is ever a manga that's just the fetish, it's that manga. Let's be honest. That, that manga is just the fetish. <laughs> So, if the show sort of addresses it, or the manga addresses my criticism that, like, she doesn't really feel like she's taking his feelings into consideration. This is a fair argument to make, because she's not, I don't think, calling him gross and stuff all the time. It's, I mean, he's not protesting, but, like, is it because, like, he likes it, or because, like, he's too shy to say anything? or do anything about it. It's detrimental because it makes it harder to like root for her in yes. some senses because she'll literally be calling him gross to his face. It remind me why people sort of dislike Cinderies. Cause, yeah, yeah, cause it's, I really don't like she, She's not really technically a Cindery though. She isn't, but she's unnecessarily like aggressive at times. Like there's a time to tease. Yeah. And yeah. like, and she does it all the time and for her own I don't think sake. she does it all the time. Some of the time it's a bit much, but initially it feels She's trying to get a reaction out of him, yeah. and there's a back and forth, and it's something that like, and when he starts being like, oh, like, I'm about to beat you in this video game, I'm like, okay, he's learning, he's he's not letting himself be dog. The way I look at it, she, he's kind of like to himself and in his shell, and she's kind of more like outgoing, and like the way like they come together is that she kind of gets him to do things that are kind of outside of his shell. How do I say? Cause like sometimes you see that shit in anime and it just like feels grimy. Like fucking- It doesn't feel grimy. Like there's no grime to it, which is, it kind of reminded me of the same feeling, wholesome feeling I got when I was watching Kaguya-sama or reading Tomo-chan is a girl. Like that's, it's just like those types of anime or manga in those cases, in Tomo-chan's case, I feel like they're very wholesome in a way that really gets you to like, they're the slice of life comedy shows that I can actually stomach. I feel like they're trying to tell a story on top of the jokes like the jokes are very important but mm -hmm. also the jokes have something that like tie them all together like there's a plot there's character progression there's character growth and the characters get to not stagnate oh uh, i gotta I, yeah i get what you're trying to say i or I, I do appreciate the manga i do appreciate that there is progressive in this like slice of life and i also realized that i do love slice of life is now that like changed the status quo and have allowed progression yeah and what i can say about it is it's just like as you said there's jokes that like can get in the way of like the progression, but I also feel like if they like if they bother you too much, 
that's understandable, but they don't get in the way of disturbing Toad. Like the bullying aspect of it really takes a backseat towards like the the I, I can say like already in the first 20 chapters, he's already become the push back and it it's they seem more like they're becoming friends more than yeah. she's on him. And friends do make fun of each other. And I think it's good that I can already tell the guy was probably lonely, so he just needs yeah. someone he could talk to that might be a bit harsh on him, but hey, that's if it's sometimes helping him, that's you, fine. Like if it's not like, you know, malicious, sometimes yes. you do need somebody to help you like out of your comfort zone. Like all he really needs is that push. Cause you see that he's willing to change. This is where we're gonna end it, guys. We're playing through Pokemon right now, and we're uh, going to be covering more Chainsaw Man uh, content as they come out. We have a Makima video, so go check that out. So for more content like that, make sure you subscribe. But um, hopefully, Tomosan is a girl. Is uh, that's is... not gonna happen? No, it's gonna get it. Let that's me have my dream. Shut up. Not gonna no. happen. Why would you say that? That's not gonna happen. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. I've been off track. Seb, off track. Rest, and I will catch you on the next one. I know for a, a little fact that you probably don't know about this is that the mangaka used to be, you know, a drawer. Oh, oh. <laughs> a popular one at that. Not not good one, like not like wholesome ones either. Like some pretty like no, some pretty not a wholesome one. No ones. no ones at, at that. So that that's it. right. That's why I like it hit different when her she said, Well actually this is art, even though it's it's sex. It's like, okay, that's no, what he means. That's what he means, right? That's what he means. I feel like he's like, he defends himself to it. Like, he has to defend himself to, like, his friends all the time. Like, you just draw porn, man. Yeah, he, he definitely no, has a, a chip on his shoulder. <laughs> you just don't understand. Like, I, I'm not gonna say, isn't it weird that this high school girl is drawing a nude portrait of her inside the right, school? Right, right, and but, nobody's trying to stop her? What? I mean, the school did, but I'm not... I'm just, but then she turned it on him like they were. No, it's art. It's art. I, it's, this, this definitely has some uh, weird things to it. Yeah, we